This is going to push the berries to the test. I have no idea if we'll survive this or not. The ultimate berry trust fall. Take one. Well, hey there, Brewberries, and what's up, and welcome to another episode on the Legacy SMP. There are some things popping up on the server, and we need to get ourselves going, because I haven't been able to play on this server in probably about a week. Uh, and uh, yes, of course, our build has aged, and that's sad. We'll find wax eventually. I'm not that worried about the roof and stuff. I've done a little bit of work uh, continuing on. I've been trying to figure out the darn this thing fireplace and I, I think what's gonna have to happen is I'm going to actually extend this out by one block so it just evenly matches that I think that'll look better and make it so it actually adds a little bit of character to this side because we're not gonna have windows and things or any sort of like decoration bit here uh, and then I'm, I'm gonna have it kind of angle off as you see it goes up to the top there and uh, then we'll just finish out the wall and I think that will be good and we can have kind of this accent here actually no that won't be there but it'll be like a full fleshed out wall then now first things first um i'm out of food i don't have anything so i've been working on this area just a little bit adding in a nice uh what's gonna be a nice big potato farm because potatoes i would say are the best like early game food uh because you can just make baked potatoes and it's not difficult at all to get uh, especially i went and uh yoinked some from brooke over there and uh yeah it's uh it's uh, not difficult to get potatoes and baked potatoes they're pretty good so i am uh wanting to get things a uh, going oh bye wax i'm wanting to get some things going for just our starter area to be able to like really get a grip on uh, surviving here. And one of those things is getting diamonds. And then also, ooh, that's pretty. I don't want to necessarily, I know Brooke doesn't necessarily care about spoilers, but I don't want to necessarily show it unless she, I don't think she's dropped a video on it quite yet, but, uh, oh. Oh, wow. Well, get out of my way, horse. What are you, you stupid? You, I will remember you. You are going to be leather. So sorry for not having a video out last week for Legacy, and this week is probably only going to be Legacy. It is the holiday season, and it's also quarter four at where I work, and the end of the year is always just, what is that line? Is that going to be a bridge? <laughs> is someone going to make a freaking huge bridge? It, I hope so, because that would be epic. There's like a line right there. You can't hardly see it right now, but that would be fairly epic. Also, the community storage has been entirely revamped and wow does it look amazing now we're here to yet again oh bones okay this is gonna help a lot i'm only i'm gonna take 10 bones 10 bones and that's it oh and, and maybe some flowers i do like the flowers but we're primarily here for no, we're just going to make it an entire. I thought about growing carrots and then nah, decided not to. I'm looking for some food to be able to get me through until we can get some potatoes going. But goal one for today is get food set up. So we're going to go do that right now. All right, food should be squared away now. We've got a nice little potato field here and did a little bit more landscaping, added a rock up there. It's a nice rock. I like that boulder. So food should be squared away, and uh, as the server goes, this will grow, which will be great. We'll be able to fill it fully out, and we should be good for food. And what I was thinking is, since the food's gonna be right here, why don't we make a, well, I'm thinking maybe we put, where does this connect up inside? right by the stairs okay so that won't work we'll do it uh not there we'll put the cooking stuff here i'm thinking i'm gonna make like a cooking station right here and then right here i believe that is gonna be where the the actual like floor has to go and right here we'll have like a little entrance to get out and make it so that we can get no food stay there thank you very much uh, we're going to have like a doorway right here that will allow us to go out to this area. And I think that'll be pretty dang good. That'll be helpful for us. All right. So that is a great. Now let's make the cooking station area. And then we should have this whole food situation all figured out. And we'll be able to start making some nice potatoes for ourselves. 
This area has come along quite nicely. We have a full potato field. It got a little bit of a storage area just for some of the potatoes when we have a full inventory and uh, made this area for just a nice cooking little setup here and extra storage in case we run out of room in that chest. And so now let's address the inside. So first things first, uh, let's uh, shut this door. Um, uh, first things first, I want to make it so that this area is a little bit more separated out. Does not need to be one big old uh, sort of room. So I'm kind of thinking that we wall this off to here. Maybe we make a wall right here and just make like a tiny little room right around here. Sure, the entrance can be right there. That's fine. And I'm thinking this is going to be just like a small storage area, like a pantry or something like that. I think that could be a good. Yeah, that'll be good. Good storage area there. And then uh, the reason we're doing this is because doing a big room doesn't always work that well. Like you like this is fine. This is better than having one giant room. At least it's broken up a little bit, but it it doesn't. Oh, that's not right. It doesn't always work that well when you try to do room design like this will be fine because we can just put a couch and some this is going to be a fireplace and all that jazz. Um, but doing like a big room just doesn't make any sense. And so I want also it to feel a little bit like there's a hallway or something here that you're going to go down and I've been digging out just a little bit. Uh, we're going to have a big old basement. And this is going to be a big old room because that's going to be our storage area. All right, I think I got the interior finally figured out. So we're gonna have a beam, a sporting beam here, some beams right here. This is all, this is gonna swap out for dark oak. We're gonna have a wall right here. So the interior upstairs is only going to really be a bedroom and we're gonna have a gargantuan bed and it's gonna be amazing because I deserve it, don't I? Uh, and so we're gonna have a massive bed, like a real, real throne of a bed and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful i'm thinking potentially we even extend it out like this and make it absolutely huge i'm not sure i think this will be good it's going to be like four wide i think that's going to be something something like this it's almost going to be a throne all right well we are entirely out of resources so we're going to go caving for just a little bit there is some uh, stuff down here so i thought maybe we would check out this cave i already gone a little ways down but um, i don't know there's more copper here always need more copper but i figured what we would do is go back up to our mountain hut and uh, continue our quest for diamonds just because that seems like the best thing to do. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get a little bit of coal so we can have some more torches in case we need them. And then we're just gonna spend some time to get diamonds. Our first stack of baked potatoes. So when this runs out, we are good to go. We're farmers, baby. You know, I'm not the most wow, we are close to one another. How about we back up? Yeah, well, this is a good distance. <laughs> You know, we're in a pandemic and stuff. Probably don't need to be this close to each other. I'm not the smartest cookie in the shed. I entirely forgot that we had resources up here. Like, I've been struggling and thinking I'm out of cobble deep slate. Ah, no, I'm fine. Thought I was out of tough. No, fine. I am out of andesite, which I do need, but fine on cobblestone. There's food up here. Not that much, but hey, there were potatoes. I didn't have to yoink them from Brook. Oh, I'm so stupid. And look at this. I didn't even know we had diamonds. I, I didn't even know that we had diamonds. I thought I was entirely out. I thought I used it all on, on the pick. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be a change of plans then. Also, uh, remember, we have mending we have a single mending book which is definitely going to go on the first diamond pick that is a good diamond pick uh, and that's uh, the goal i want today to be about is going to the nether and getting 30 levels at least 30 levels and that means we're probably gonna have to go and get a lot of quartz which is not going to necessarily be fun but we can brave it. And uh, there's a there's there's a uh, another portal. OK, there's another portal there, but it's not on. And I guess we'll go to the spawn one, maybe, and uh, hope that there's not a ton of quartz already taken. Aha! 
Okay, so this is a... Well, it's not terrible. Jeez, you have an enchanted sword out of the gate trying to meet me with some uh, bling bling, huh? Oh, this is not going to work out well, I don't think. Yeah, this ain't going to work out because <laughs> servers is very slightly laggy. Jeez, I'm going to... I'm gonna die just because of the fire. Come here, you, you jerk. Dude, this is awful. I am not bad at this. Anybody up for some parkour? Oh my goodness, that was awful. There's so much destruction from one gas. Oh my gosh, I've never spam clicked so much in my life. Woo, we made it out of there. Oi, that was sketchy. But we have 32 levels and all this quartz, which I am probably just going to share with all the legates because, when I mean, I'm going to take a stack and then I think I'm just going to plop of all of the rest in here somewhere oh my gosh look at all these bundles uh we have a bundle for any of you who are wondering this is not in the update but we do have a data pack that allows us to craft the bumble Bum bumble bumbles bounce the bundle uh, let's see what enchantment is in here efficiency or hmm you know what you know what i think i'm gonna do or we're gonna gamble a little bit don't gamble kids let's uh undo that and get a pickaxe here because we'll i'll keep using that also let's uh just pick these back up right like that that is that is a nice thing about the bundle for a bunch of just random junk like that if you're just collecting some things not a bad thing so we're gonna gamble efficiency four and breaking we're just gonna take this and then we're gonna see this efficiency four silk touch a level two enchant not bad Ooh, okay so we'll do that what what type of what type of level two enchantment is this silk touch with low efficiencies and a second tier unbreaking that's amazing like what thorns punch efficiency not bad okay so that's that is not bad at all um I guess I'm going to go back into the nether <laughs> and I'm going to gather up some more stuffs and then I'm going to make another pickaxe and try and get a uh, fortune three. So I'm going to go and get some more levels, uh, maybe go get some better gear. The main reason. So we're doing this because I want fortune to be able to get more diamonds because it's kind of crummy to find a big big stack of diamonds that you want to mine and then realize this is I'm going to get one diamond for this. I want all the diamonds. All right, interior is coming along very nicely. I still have some stuff to do. Of course, the roof still needs to be done, but I've been mining a little bit. I did get a fortune three unbreaking efficiency four uh, pickaxe, which is wonderful. So now we have silk touch and unbreaking. We just need to get the silk touch up to par in terms of the efficiency and unbreaking category, but that's fine. So I want to show you the uh, interior here. So we've got this entrance, of course, and then inside we've got a little bit of like a living space and I think it's looking really nice. I'm probably going to put like a bookshelf here just all the way up to the top. I think that'll be a nice placeholder thing for here. Got a little mantle and of course fireplace. No table to eat at, but I think potentially I will put it here. Uh, and remove this and just kind of, I don't know, I, I'm considering moving this because right now this is where I'm putting blast furnaces. And uh, yeah, I, I just think I may move it. But we have this little room right here. 
is a storage area that I am currently keeping some stuff in. Uh, basement, nothing has been done. Upstairs actually has a fair amount done. So we've got a nice stairway up here, framed out this window as well. And then it goes to a single staircase and we've got kind of this little lobby area. The master bedroom is quite expansive. I've been having to fiddle faddle around with all the walls. Probably gonna do something here with like a rug to cover up the floor cause it's kind of messy looking. And then maybe putting a bookshelf here as well to cover this area up. Not really sure, but it's not gonna be too intense in the bedroom. I don't really think I need to. Uh, and then upstairs, I did add a sort of loft area and we are just going to be putting eh, probably again bookshelves things like that sitting area i'm not really sure i was going to make the attic actually uh, something that you would experience uh, but i'm gonna go against that and decide not to uh, i am gonna of course line this all i'm thinking i'm gonna do birch or oak for the roof area just to give it a little bit of a lighter touch because it is such a big roof it'd be cool to have it be in a lighter color because this is a very dark house and uh, as much as i enjoy the darkness of it i think it'd be nice to have a little bit of a light touch and so i'm going to continue working basement is going to be our storage area so i'm going to continue clearing this out but what i'd like to do now is jump into a little bit of diamond mining back at our old diamond mine over there and uh hopefully we can get actually i need to make some i'm going to keep using these so we don't break our picks very much uh because honestly cobbled deep slate is easier to use than regular deep slate because you can't use regular deep slate in the stone cutter at all Well, a very full inventory later, we have come away with 38 diamonds, which is wonderful. We now have a full set of armor and a full set of tools, which is stellar. So I'm going to go make those, and I think I'm going to try and enchant them. We'll, we'll see how much enchanting we can do today. I'm kind of tired of being in the nether, but I think it's worth it, so I got to run 10,000 miles back and uh, I'm going to get some tough on the way because I want to continue building our chimney. But oh, I am excited. I we are finally going to be geared up and on par with everybody else because we were roughing it there for a bit. But now we have diamonds and I am thrilled. Oh, there's a skeleton farm <laughs> that someone made, which is awesome. But Sev is facing the her her head is backwards. I am so what's happening? She's definitely facing that direction, but she's got freaking eyes in the back of her head. Oh, this is this is creepy. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this at all. Zeb, no chance. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, firstly, do you have eyes in the back of your head? No. Okay. Does it look like I have eyes? I have your, my helmet on. It, the way you were standing, you were staring at the skeletons, right? Yeah. Okay, your head was fully backwards. Ew, really? Yeah, I totally thought that you had like done. I don't know what it, it you literally I thought you were like had a skin on that made your head backwards and or you had just like eyes in the back of your head. Uh, it was very terrifying. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, sometimes that happens when people just AFK and stand around and the head just twists around. It's so creepy. I came in here and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I need to leave. Maybe oh. I, maybe I'm not not welcome here because, oh, that was it was I was not expecting it, but I'm glad to see that your head's okay. The the funniest part was I thought like when you whispered it sounded like the frog queen. That was so funny. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was like, why is she here? Is she scaring me again? Because she likes to sneak up on me and then say something. <laughs> I'll let you get back to um to killing uh killing these skeletons. 
Mm -hmm. I'll go. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some quartz. Okay. okay. Peace be with you. Okay, that was. <laughs> I was gonna go there to get experience, but she's using it, so I'll let her use it. I don't need a ton of experience, anyways. So <laughs> we're just gonna go get quartz, put it in the storage, and um, wow, was that terrifying. Her head was actually backwards. Actually backwards, I think. I think there may be something haunting her and I don't want to find out. Okay, so there's no crafting table here. Um, it's because we have somebody coming around and stealing our workbenches. And so this is where a crafting table used to be. I put one here. I know it's supposed to be here. We're gonna go ahead and leave this here, but I have a little bit of an idea that I think could be a little, quote unquote, crafty. So this is a slab. Where is a full block? So this is a full block. We need slabs all around it. Um, perhaps what we do is we break this, we put that there, we break this, and we do that. And then we'll uh, put a few more pieces of wood around and just make it look like this is supposed to be like this. Like there's supposed to be little bits of wood in the ceiling. And we will know that that is a crafting table. When you have to fight fire with fire, you have to fight it full force. And there we go. What a beautiful addition we have here. Nobody will know what is what, which is a plank and which is not, but we, we will know. Fire protection four on my pantalones? Yes, please. Unbreaking three, not bad. Fortune on the axe, not so good. Fortune on the shovel, even worse. Fortune on this, however, is not too shabby. Efficiency four is not bad at all. I think I'm gonna do that on my sh shovel. Of course, fortune on the shovel. Oh yeah. I hate to see it. All right, been doing some work and I need to go to the community store. What the? That's so cute. Oh, and the copper rods making the star. Ooh, that's cool. That is such a fun little star design with the, is that a, yeah, that's a, a, a whatever, the glow shroom thingamajig. Whoa, this is such a cool little tree. I love it. Oh, and it's got moss on the inside to make it look a little bit denser. Oh, and to hide the redstone. Lime's wing box. Please take one. Ah, yes. So this is not going to appear in this episode, but we did go and do the end. And we did go and have a, quite an adventure there that will be coming out later on in the week. That is going to be the extra little legacy episode that happens. Uh, hello, sign. Uh-huh. We'll just peer over it. That's going to be happening when uh we are on i'm on vacation and so that is what will be happening then i'm here because i would like is there any spruce any spruce wood at all all right 17 i will steal it all because i kind of want it oh and there's rockets uh flight duration one flight duration one yes absolutely you know i think honestly with the changes to elytra flight duration is probably going to be like flight duration three rockets are going to probably be much better are there any enchanted axes here because i still don't have an enchanted axe because yeah i've got mending books from sev which is amazing what is the enchantment for our axe right now silk touch is actually pretty Okay, that's cool. I'm fine with that. I will uh, get some levels from... Uh, we have a skeleton farm now, so I'll get some levels from that. Uh, I just mainly wanted some spruce to continue in the basement, and I'd love to be able to show you. I don't know if we're going to necessarily be able to finish the exterior of the house entirely right now. Uh, I'm going to definitely try to have it right at the very end to have at least some of the exterior landscaping done. I'm going to put some flowers and things down. I think that'll make it look all pretty and stuff. Just like you know, little things like this, just to add a little flavor. I did a little landscaping here to bring this up and make it a little bit more of a cliff. So there's going to be like a pathway that just wraps around the house. Uh, I think that'll be good. This tree needs to go because it's too squatty. 
I do have a horse. What should I name the horse? I would love to know. Oh, I, I grew a spruce tree right here. I'm an idiot. As you can see, I did get the chance to uh, enchant everything here. And so we've got fire protection, we've got fire protection, blast protection, and blast protection. I usually go for those now over regular protection just because it's like, I don't know, if you're getting killed by skeletons and stuff, you might as well just uninstall. No, <laughs> not really. I'm joking. Uh, the basement, though, is done. So we do have, I didn't, uh, I don't think I did any decorating up here. I don't think much else has been done. Yeah, there's not really any need. Haven't really been focusing upstairs because I wanted to get the storage in place. So basement is now getting finished. So we go downstairs and have a little bit of a, a transition in the wall pattern, introducing some basalt, I think goes really well and looks really cool on the side texture. I think that looks really nice. This is gonna be our beginning storage area. And so it's nothing too particularly crazy, but looky here, well, I am. Yes, indeed, that is another hitting crafting table. I think we're just gonna have to do that because of there's somebody on the on the server that is stealing people's uh, crafting tables, and uh, I am getting I'm getting tired of it. So I'm fighting back by introducing hidden ones. So what I'm thinking for the rest of this basement is I honestly I may push more over here and make like a big bulk storage area. And then I'm gonna continue this down and go down into another sort of palette of like maybe cobblestone and stuff. I don't know, I could, I'm gonna, I wanna change up the walls for each of these rooms just a little bit. Um, and so we're gonna go down and maybe make some small little farms that just, I don't know, just add a little bit of automation for things uh, like bamboo, for kelp, uh, and for, I'm thinking sugarcane, I think that would be good. Uh, and so I'm thinking of doing that and we just go down, make a room the exact same size and then exact same layout, just make it automatic farms. I think that would be nice. So this is what it will end up being, but we need to make some more barrels because I am gonna do this side as a bulk storage instead of doing these pistons here. I think I have fine, I have actually decided on that. You know, I had a smarter idea. Instead of having to guess, which one is actually the, if I don't for some reason remember, which one is actually the crafting table. Uh, why not just make them all crafting tables so I don't have to actually guess and then it still looks the same. I think that is a much smarter idea. And there we go, two identical large storage walls. So this will be the individual little items and then this will be bulk storage. Now I'm gonna try and figure out how to label this side in particular. Um, I think that will be good. This will have too many individual items to want to label. Uh, so I may make themed columns potentially uh, by maybe I'll put item frames on the bottom side of this and label kind of what's going on. Not really sure, but this is what the basement is. It's of course, it's not really anything too particularly crazy and interesting, but I do think that it is a much better improvement. So I'm going to do just a tiny bit more work on the house, get this place squared away just a little bit more, and then I think we'll be good to wrap up the episode. I have a theory. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to make this jump, but I have a theory and I want to see if it's true. Uh, let's just try running off. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's true. You can use these bushes to fall. Does it? Is it from any height? This is going to push the berries to the test. I have no idea if we'll survive this or not. But I'm really hoping we do, because if not, this is a waste of almost three little bars of experience. The ultimate berry trust fall. Take one. Oh my gosh. I had no idea that berry bushes stopped all fall damage. I had no idea. That is an amazing, amazing discovery. I, oh my gosh, there's only two people on here. I want to scream it to the world. And just so you know, that was a 60 block fall, zero fall damage. That's insane. Okay, well, now we're pretty much done with the house. There's some interior stuff that I still need to work out, but uh, the pathway is gonna wrap around. I think I'm just gonna make the path 
wrap around this side, make it so you go around this way and this way there's nothing just because I put this boulder here and I don't really want to mess it up. Um, so the pathway will wrap around on this side here and I just put some planter stuff here and uh, the now the chimney is all finished as well. I still need to finish this side. I'm just low on spruce. My spruce tree hasn't grown. I haven't bone mailed it. And so that's uh, just where we're at. So this is going to have two little peaks, I think, or it's just going to go straight across. I don't know. Nothing too crazy or interesting. Uh, and then there's going to just be a little planter box here on either side. And that will look good. Wrap it up for that side. Uh, the chimney is all done and I actually I did end up extending it uh, out by one block. I think that actually really, really helped. It makes it feel like it's actually a chimney that's supposed to be there instead of one that's like weirdly set into the wall. And so I'm happy with that. The uh, and I made it too wide on the top here. I need to go back through and uh, adjust one uh, one of those blocks to being copper instead of, you know, andesite. But that's okay. I think that will be, or we just like get rid of that block and make it into sign. I don't really know, but all in all, chimney is basically done. And then interior wise, I haven't really done anything, but I'm uh, showing you this because uh, I've been hiding crafting tables everywhere. As you know, downstairs, there's plenty of them, but now we have one here because there used to be one here and then it got stolen. Uh, there is one that is currently in the chimney in case all else fails. Um, and then I'm going to just start hiding them all over the place where I am using oak just because that will make life a whole lot easier down here. Nothing really has changed. I just put a water source. I'm trying to think through exactly how I want to go about organizing the items and things. So because of that, I haven't really finished it, uh, but that's okay. I'm really pleased with our starter house. I think it's a, it's now much more complete. It feels much better to have this big storage area. And so I'm, I'm ready to get organized because I do love me some organization. But I am very pleased with where we are at the end of this episode. We've got fully enchanted diamond gear. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you guys in the next episode of Legacy SMP. Uh, bye bye.